I wanted to finish up this series of Ellie in one long video. However, I still have some research to do and this video is already longer than my usual. If you haven't watched part 1 and 2 I recommend that you do before you watch this one. I will link those videos in my video description. I want to verbally address something else quickly. I often get the snide comments suggesting I cover something considered more important, such as child exploitation. I am told that the topic of monkeys is a waste of time. Everyone must choose their own battles. If we all worked on the same problem, nothing would get done. I truly believe that abuse, neglect, the treatment, physical and mental torture, and even sexual abuse of these exploited monkeys on social media, simulates abuse and exploitation of that on human children. Often monkeys exploited are from countries where these animals have little to no protection laws that are put in place or enforced. Most, if not all, social media platforms are unwilling to address this issue as harmful content, as of yet. This is one of many reasons I want to shed light to this issue. For example, changing a baby monkey's diaper on video, making their genitals a main focus. But certainly, at least here on YouTube, you wouldn't be allowed to show that content as a human child. However, animals don't typically wear clothes and are exposed. So there is no policy against it. Without a policy, to ban content that focuses on animal genitalia, YouTubers have been allowed to sexually exploit these animals of which they are treating as human children. It's a loophole they get away with. The same for punishments too. Making them stand, which hurts these animals, as well as yelling at them and refusing them food while other monkeys eat alongside them. All of these things would not be allowed to be shown if they were human children. These would be considered against YouTube's policy under child abuse, nudity, psychological distress and possibly bullying. But portraying baby monkeys as human children and showing these things unfortunately still is allowed. I am often disgusted and heartbroken, knowing many of these monkey exploiters are parents with actual children themselves and often wonder if they treat their children in the same way they do to these monkeys. If they were allowed, I wonder, would they show their children this way too? It's one of many reasons I absolutely hate seeing these monkeys as pets in this way. There is channels made up of entirely showing nothing but changing diapers, clothes, and giving baths to these monkeys. These videos make people curious and some, too curious. Some go looking for this content entirely because of what it simulates. For these sickos, it's a way to see something that isn't illegal and is easily accessible. For some, seeing this content may even make them seek human children when this type of monkey content no longer satisfies their twisted need, or they could seek more extensive abuse. So I respectfully disagree that talking about these animals is a waste of time. It's just as important as child exploitation because it simulates it and what it can lead to. Now, let's move on to talking about Ellie. It's important I address this. There are many viewers on this platform that are suggesting improper care within comments of these pet owners who may do things to appease their audience. These suggestions could be more harmful than good if you have no experience or knowledge in taking care of these non-human primates. For example, a common suggestion is to give milk. Without going into the many details in explaining why this suggestion could be harmful, I will simply say that there are things that should be followed when it comes to hand-rearing these animals. Again keep in mind that we are similar to these primates in many ways, but in many ways, we're extremely different. Especially when it comes to our needs. Far more different and complex than the needs of a dog or cat. I get into this a little more later. Ellie's owner says, I read everyone's comments. I'm relying on everyone's suggestions to take care of Ellie. I haven't been able to shop for the best medicine for baby monkeys yet. As a side note, I want you to recognize how good his English is here. But to appear poor and uneducated his English gets weird. Just FYI Vietnamese translates perfectly on Google. His English only becomes broken when he talks about this regimen and he contradicts himself in knowing the proper word. A clear tactic to manipulate people. Most people in Vietnam know English. A man his age would know how to use Google Translate if he can edit and make videos for YouTube. He continues explaining the suggestion his audience gave. Which thankfully, isn't a harmful suggestion. Saying, so I'm temporarily following everyone's instructions and often talk about coconut oil can help baby monkeys get rid of scabies. I wonder if I can help Ellie with this scab with this itch. 
these are his own subtitles. Subtitles that he could have googled to properly translate. Describing her arm as scabies and then a scab, and here back to scabies. Saying, dip a cotton ball and apply it on the scabies. In another video he's talking about Ellie wearing clothes, where his audience was arguing back and forth on whether or not she should wear them. Some, what he calls fans, had sent some clothes after feeling bad that he was making clothes himself that were, in my opinion, purposely too tight and ugly. Saying he needs to give them to her if she were too cold. Yet, these animals live in Vietnam, outdoors, all year round. He was acting as if he can't afford clothes himself for Ellie. I will be showing how this isn't true. And he puts Ellie in this monstrosity. Not that she should wear clothes, but he surely didn't need to make her suffer by putting her into this tight horrendous thing he made. He was already making plenty of money at this point. Notice here in this screenshot, he admits he doesn't know what he is doing. Why would he take in an animal he doesn't know how to care for? Why would he take in an animal he can't afford to take care of? It is my opinion he poached Ellie from her mother to exploit her on social media for views and donations. It seems from the beginning of his channel that he was possibly doing farm work and carpentry work. It's not uncommon for farmers to cull monkeys from eating their crops. And we'll learn it's not the first and only monkey in the family, like he says here. He even has a duper's delight smirk as he said this, I really don't want people to argue because it's my first time taking care of Ellie and I don't know what everything should or shouldn't. This is my particular shortcoming. His English and translation is so bad, yet he clearly translates his comments quite well. Well enough to dirty delete content when he gets backlash. The next important thing I need to address may piss some people off if they ever see this, but it needs to be said. To those that donated for the care of Ellie. I am going to try and not be rude because I am angry. I'm going to assume you are good people who had good intentions and became emotionally attached to Ellie. I understand that. However, after what became of this all, I really hope you learned your lesson about donating to animal exploiters. You were scammed, and your donations encouraged this man to do things to Ellie that ultimately caused her death. I do not believe she is alive and I will be showing just how bad her situation became after I say what I need to say. Those that didn't donate, I hope you see this video and think twice, three times if you have to, before you donate to these people who improperly care for these animals. Did you know that according to Social Blade, at one point was estimating this man to be making between 1k to 4k US dollars a month? Do you realize how far that money on YouTube views alone stretches in Vietnam? Have you ever watched people who have made vlogging trips to Vietnam? A full body massage cost only 3 US dollars. Other than the prices they swindle to foreigners, it's extremely inexpensive there. In the economy that many are facing today, even in the US, aren't even making that kind of money and struggle from choosing groceries or electricity for the month. There is children in your own country struggling to eat. Animal shelters in your own country, struggling in this economy and you're donating to a man who is living real well for himself while pretending he is poor and pretending to care for a monkey whose mother he killed. He even rubbed cement on that monkey and acted like he needed your help. Cement that he would easily have access to while doing carpentry work. Meanwhile, he has expensive cell phones and devices to make videos with. He's living in paradise compared to other people. We'll look at his video shots of him traveling to the vets with Ellie and compare them to some parts of the US right now. In the earliest videos that I have seen, he was at one point taking beautiful shots of his country and later that changed. We'll look at several shots where he tries to portray his country and living conditions in the worst possible light for your donations and what we were shown your donations went. We'll look at one of the worst medical help scam for his monkey that I have seen. These scams are on the rise because it works and I hope this video will prevent others from donating. If you truly want to help animals, call up your local pet shelter. You may even find a local primate conservation near you. Ask them if there is any supplies that they're in need of that you can help provide them. I assure you, your donation will be a great help. But when you donate to these exploiters on social media with pets, you're donating for these animals to be harmed. Even if that is not your intentions. These people with pet monkeys are not appropriately caring for them and they never will, even with your help. Their purpose for these animals isn't genuine and donations encourage others to poach for baby monkeys. 
I'll read these out for people who need translation. He says, thank you for your kind hearts. Thanks, name redacted, thanks name redacted, and friends who have donated and contributed money from PayPay. He means PayPal. He continues and says, I will use this balance properly to take the baby monkey to the hospital so that I can shop for the baby monkey Ellie. In a separate video he says, during the time I took care of the baby monkey, a lot of people supported me. I got it on PayPal and on YouTube mini chat and on YouTube. And currently the account in PayPal is 200 US dollars. And on YouTube, I can't list them exactly. I have filtered out a list of people who send money as a thank you. And now I don't know what to use it for and I need your opinion. And I'll keep the rest so I can take the baby monkey to the doctor for a checkup. The list I filtered out is quite a lot of people. I currently have friends, names redacted. And some other friends have sent in PayPal and on YouTube. Especially with you. Name redacted and name redacted gave Ellie a lot. And I would like to thank everyone who has always loved and cared about Ellie. I will use it to buy food and essentials for Ellie. Please comment to help me so I can buy for baby monkeys. If anyone has any suggestions, please comment so I can know better. He doesn't need to buy her food, he has shown throughout his channel many times that he has a garden that actively grows fruit, but okay. A little bit of that money could go towards food and a vet. But there's no way he'll need the full $200. He knows this. So he asks for suggestions in what to buy her. He contradicts himself with saying where he'll spend it but then says he doesn't know what to buy and this is to cover his ass when people call him out on the price conversion rates. Whether people did this, I don't know, but the video about donations was marked unlisted and I was able to recover it. It makes me wonder why he removed the video from all to see. Like I had said earlier, I have never seen a person on this platform exploit medical conditions as much as he has on a monkey. Just one screenshot of his channel and this is how many videos you would have seen. If I had to estimate, 88% of his content was exploiting Ellie as unwell, giving her some kind of medical treatment or vet visits. Some videos were just the car ride to the vets alone to show as if the journey was difficult to get her there. So here's a video with the sad lullaby music that I have muted of the day he supposedly found Ellie. You can't convince me that they didn't smear some quick cement all over her to stage this. If fact later we see her with even more cement on her than in this video. There's no other way she would have gotten this stuff all over her. She's even shivering, which shows us that the cement is still wet here. In the background we see a bucket and a bag of something but we can't fully see it. Look at his hands. It's covered with the same material. I'm not convinced the material is from handling her with the cement but rather him handling the cement to smear her with. Especially when you say you're a carpenter and your brother is a farmer. Clearly, one has access to monkeys by culling them from getting to their crops, and the other brother has easy access to cement. It sickens me that in this video he's showing a progression of her recovery when it's he that put her in this situation in the first place. He blames it on another family that supposedly had her before him. Asking, how did the other family take care to let the baby monkey suffer like this? In my opinion, the only family that made her suffer is yours. But this family he talks about, supposedly smeared cement on her before they handed her over? We're supposed to believe that? It's a bit odd that he never calls this for what it is, cement. Or at very least, clay. I believe the wording he chose to use was to avoid questions about it and so people chop it up as poor English translation. He refuses to even say it's a material on her fur. Instead, he calls it a skin disease, scabies, and a scab to make it sound worse and so he can avoid accountability. Though, it only became a problem with her skin when she tried her best to remove the chunks of cement or clay off herself, it dried her skin and became itchy, and when he constantly kept picking at it for his videos. This video was also marked as unlisted. I'm not sure if this is before or after the whole clay or cement incident because I don't have an upload date to go by. But I do find it strange that they removed this video for all to see. Its title was, Ellie Monkey Visits His Brother and Learns About Working on a Farm. I wonder what the white stuff is on his jacket. It seems to be splashed on him. 
Is it paint, is it pesticides, is it clay or cement? It could be anything. I don't know how a farmer gets that on their jacket and pants, but it seems like a good amount splattered on him. It's just an observation and a question I have. I'm just showing various clips of this scene, so you can see that it's quite, almost everywhere on him. So, this is Ellie's owner's brother. They're doing a good job not to show his face and when they do, he's wearing a medical mask. So, I assume this was still during the time of mask mandates or maybe he uses it for work. But all videos he is in, his face is never fully seen. I love seeing these animals do things where they are free to do whatever they want and are doing things they would normally do in the wild. I would prefer they be left alone and watched or filmed from a distance, if anything. Seeing her behavior on the tree compared to being presented a dish full of junk food is just strikingly different. If only she would have regularly been able to climb trees and go looking for her own food, and with her mother, she would have had a much better future. In a separate video that was hidden, I found this one odd. It is titled, Ellie Monkey Runs Around the Workplace to Find Her Brother. Again, I must mute these clips to avoid any potential copyright music. Was this the reason he removed the video? Or did people maybe have concern for her safety in the comments? I'm not sure, as I had only started following Ellie towards the end. I have no definitive proof that they put clay or cement on Ellie, but they definitely had access to monkeys that were possibly culled to avoid them eating their crops. Ellie's owners also have access to materials to smear stuff all over her. Maybe they filmed a performative rescue and decided to take it down, or it was reported. Maybe they never uploaded it to avoid backlash. Staging rescues is very much a real thing across social media, where they show baby monkeys alone and in compromising positions like stuck in water, or under a rock, stuck in a net or found hidden somewhere like an abandoned house. It's clearly staged. Baby macaques are not going to be found stranded. Macaque mothers rarely abandon their babies. If anything, their mother was killed and their troop is still nearby. Many macaque species do not travel far. Stump-tailed macaques will travel more frequently than some other macaques. However, if food is plentiful, such as a farm filled with it, they'll surely stay nearby. Vietnam specifically, is losing their stump-tailed macaque populations mostly due to deforestation. Forests are cut down for farms which has caused a lot of culling. They're also losing forests due to the making of new developments. Only as of 2021 was it made illegal to own these animals as pets, cull and hunt them. Unfortunately, it's still not well regulated by the government to ensure these animals are protected. Stump-tailed macaques is an endangered species. I do not believe for one second that Ellie was owned by anyone else prior who would have handed her off covered in clay or cement-type material. If anything, it's possible Ellie's brother once owned Ellie, as she seemed quite fond of him in this earlier video. Like I said before, in the earlier videos Ellie's owner was showing beautiful shots of his trips with Ellie. Vietnam is a beautiful country. I think it is a shame that he later portrayed his country in such a way. His portrayal was to get more money from Westerners by having them believe that he's poor. He could have made a channel exploring and showing things in Vietnam. Allowing viewers to travel vicariously through him. There's many things he could have made videos and channels about. But he and his family and friends choose to exploit monkeys instead. Every country in the world has less flattering places. With open southern borders in the US, there's a fentanyl epidemic coming in from the Mexican drug cartels. More and more people are becoming homeless because of this. More than ever before. I don't say this to turn things into a US political debate. I'm just pointing out that people in your own country are struggling and the money sent to Ellie's owner went to a manipulator and a liar. 
I'm not saying don't give your money to people in other countries who are in need. Just be careful with who you give your money to and understand that these scams, with these monkeys on social media exist. Just to get the idea of how much things cost in Vietnam, a blogger who goes by the name Isabel, for the Green Voyage, made a breakdown of their expenses in Vietnam and the cost of living. If you're interested in reading the full article, I will post the link and other cited resources in my pastebin link in my video description. They note that the cost of living in Vietnam depends on which city you live in. It also depends on the lifestyle someone wants to live. Someone moving to Vietnam from European and North American countries will find the cost of living extremely cheap. Put this in perspective, according to the blogger, the average wage for workers in Vietnam is about 300 US dollars a month. This man got 200 US dollars to care for a monkey. No wonder he didn't know what to do with the money. Again, remember he was making 1 to 4k US dollars a month from ad revenue alone, on top of any cash donations he was getting. The $200 is the only donation amount that we know of. This is mind-boggling to me. Here's the breakdown of the blogger's expenses. They give a further breakdown of the cost of some things there, but I feel like this breakdown gives a good perspective on what the cost of living is like in Vietnam. So I will only go into these expenses and suggest you check out the article. Again for those who need translation, I'll read out the blogger's monthly expenses for you. Rent plus utilities 300 US dollars, transportation by renting a motorbike and gas, 50 US dollars, groceries 50 US dollars, eating out and drinking 100 US dollars, mobile phone bill 5 US dollars. And gym membership 20 US dollars. Totaling their cost to be 525 US dollars a month. My expenses here in America easily triple maybe sometimes quadruple that amount each month. That is just crazy. Ho Chi Minh City, where we've seen Ellie's owner do vet visits, according to the blogger, the cost of living can go between 600 and 800 US dollars monthly. We don't know what Ellie's owner's expenses are but we roughly know how much money he makes. Making anywhere between 1k to 4k per month. Getting donations, at very least, 200 US dollars. He was making bank compared to many others in his country, from the exploitation of these animals. You shouldn't for one second think that this man sleeps on a mattress on the floor and has very little belongings like he portrays. But for those that followed Ellie, may remember that most if not all meds he gave her were either crushed pills then added to a liquid, already in powder form, or already in a liquid form. If you've gone back and watched part 1 and 2, you will see me mention how sleepy she is at some point and it doesn't appear natural. It appears like she was given something. Listen, some of you may not agree with that, and it's okay. But there's a reason I don't mention every time she's sleepy or tired in a video, but in certain circumstances. Same goes for the monkeys in Cambodia. Like I said earlier there's a drug epidemic in America. Many of us have either been an addict, know someone who is actively an addict, or knew someone before they were in recovery. We call it the nod. It's not a normal kind of sleep and if you don't have any experience with seeing what that looks like, you may not see it that way and maybe you are unable to recognize the difference. Unfortunately, I have been around addicts practically my entire life. The nod is a pattern. It's one second completely alert to suddenly nodding off and it repeats. The eyes are often glossy and droopy. You can see it when their eyes are still open that they're not coherent and are about to nod off again. You either know it or you don't. If you have been following my community tab, you may know that I had about 86 gigabytes worth of footage to sift through. It became now about 116 gigabytes. But out of all the videos that I have watched, there's something different in the clips that I'm about to show you. There's something that I've not seen him do throughout all the videos that I have seen. I believe he was giving her some kind of substance from the very beginning. Hear me out as I stop and show you. I'll point out exactly what I am looking at. I'll give my opinion but you can decide for yourself what is going on here. Keep a note that you just watched Ellie drink from a bottle and we'll compare this with this next video. The title of this video was, Cute Baby Ellie Getting Used to Milk and Bottles. Which is bullshit. She knows a bottle is getting filled for her to drink. She even seems a little impatient for it. Also look at the bottle. Notice it right now that it's foggy looking. I want you to keep a mental note of this. Also pay attention to how much powder he is adding for the ratio of water. This is the most powder I have ever seen him give her. He says, I will make milk for baby monkeys. 
pha sữa cho mẹ khỉ nhỉ? Hôm qua thì em có uống sữa rồi, uống hết sữa rồi. He says, curious baby monkey. Looks like this is Ellie's first time drinking milk. Now he says it looks like her first time rather than what his title seems to insinuate. But we have eyes, we can tell it's not her first time. Then he says something either about her crying or how the phone is loud, or that she is crying loud into the phone. We just watched him put two massive scoops of formula into that bottle. The hot water canister. I have never seen him use this. At least not within the videos I have seen. Pay attention there will be no steam whatsoever. The foggy tinge to the bottle doesn't change like what you expect hot water would do. He then takes a glass that looks to be water but he pours it so slowly. He's being too careful. He wasn't this careful with the formula or hot water. So, why with the water in the glass is he being so careful? If he was using this water from the glass to cool down the water from the canister, why would he use so much hot water and so little cold water? It makes no sense. The formula was my first red flag. The next red flag is the water, after that it's how fast Ellie chases this bottle down. It's as if he left her hungry to make sure she drinks this bottle. Then how he holds her head to make sure she doesn't refuse it, and then you will see Ellie suddenly stops drinking the bottle not finishing it and becomes very sleepy. I think he used more formula to cover up a taste of whatever substance he mixed into the glass. The canister may just be for show. Look at her eyes when she starts this bottle. Her pupils become smaller. Here's before drinking and after. I wouldn't have given any notice to these things had I not watched so many videos. If anything, maybe you would agree that this is very suspicious. He also refers that stuff on her fur as hair stains.
ha 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 ha